So let's start with the period. I mean, obviously, like always, the South African market, important metric, DPS. Um, we obviously uh, gave guidance at year end in May uh, of between 130 and, and 140 for the year. Um, the interim dividend is obviously within that guidance and exactly where we sort of are expecting it at this, at this point of, 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 our, of our year. Uh, we continue to commit ourselves to paying out 100%. Um, on the positive side, NAV's up slightly, um, but obviously when we, when we unpack that, and I think Leila might unpack it a little bit more in detail, um, the valuations both in the UK are starting to see ticks back up a little bit and in South Africa too, which is obviously um, I think also signaling that we've sort of probably plateaued out and, and the future will probably be more positive than it will be negative. And, and in that vein, I mean, we've, we were recently in the UK uh, for work and, and uh, you know, the, the last year has been, you know, it's been challenging, let's say, there. I mean, I remember last year in September uh, sitting and, and having lunch with some chartered surveyors that were in the middle of doing some pretty substantial deals. And uh, Kwasi Kwarateng came out with his mini budget and, and that afternoon the world changed fairly dramatically. Um, a lot of deals were cancelled and, and the consequences of that process have sort of been felt um, through the rest of the year. I think that is really behind us now and, 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 and we are starting to see those, those positive sort of green shoots coming through. Um, in terms of our loan to value, 42.3, um, slightly above where obviously we would have hoped it to be at this stage. Um, but as you can see, uh, the post period transactions that have sort of happened take us back below the 40 to 38.1 and and as we said in our um, year-end results in May and I think in our pre-close at the end of August you know that the flight path for equities is really to get ourselves in and around that 35 percent mark we feel that having a balance sheet with that kind of loan to value is is absolutely vital to to how we want to position ourselves and how we want to take ourselves forward um, and, and through the presentation, you'll see all the various elements of um, activity that is happening that will look to take us through um, to that. And, and we'd like to think that we'll get there by, by year end. Um, but like everything, you know, transactions in the property sector are not like going to the supermarket and just um, going to the till and checking out. Uh, you know, in South Africa, we have the challenges of competition commission. Uh, we have the challenges of due diligences in the UK. Um, we have many other challenges that basically go through a process of trying to get a pricing which is acceptable to us and acceptable to the, to the buyer. So there is a process, but we are super confident that, that, that the process is well underway and, and that will be shown in the rest of the presentation. Final element um, in this obviously is from a liquidity point of view, the business is extremely healthy. Uh, I think later we'll talk to uh, the very successful uh, bond auction we recently had as well, uh, which again is testimony to the fact that there is demand for our paper in the debt capital markets and that, that the underlying essence of our business and the long, the long leases, the quality covenants and the quality product, which obviously is getting better every year as we build more and more ESG compliant buildings and some of the smaller, uh, maybe older buildings are, are traded through the system.